institutional framework of Catholic health care is responsible, the last I saw, for about 16% of acute care admissions in American hospitals. That's a major role. Our institutions have to meet all the standards that any good healthcare institution must meet. But once again, we're guided by two sets of values, the world of bioethics and the world of social justice. So there are two different pieces that make up our vocation in Catholic health care. Paying attention to who has health care, under what conditions, in what way, social justice. Setting a floor beneath which people should not fall. And that brings us into a larger argument that lots of people will find our language very appealing. Dignity of the person, right to health care, social justice, common good. That's a language you can step into any university in the country and they know what you're talking about. And we've been talking about it for centuries. But the bioethical part is much more contested. It is not just access to health care, it is not just the delivery of health care, it's how we lay hands on life. And as you know, oftentimes we will stand as a minority community on some of these issues. And that just is part and parcel of what we teach on so many things. A lot of what we do is common ground with the wider health care community, but not everything. So then you have the vocation of contributing broadly and standing specifically for what one holds. So that brings us to issues and just let me just 